Oh, hey, y'all. Welcome to my channel. For those of you who are already subscribed, thank you so much. You already know what it is. For those of you who are tuning in for the first or second time, you um well, those of you who are tuning in for the second time, you know what it is as well. But what you can find here are talks about macaroot, talks about sea moss, talks about skincare, what I use on my skin, and just yeah, how to how to glow the heck up in general different topics but a good time okay so without further ado let's get into the video so the thing about the sea moss is that you have to thoroughly wash it to get all the sediment off okay so you wash it wash it wash it wash it wash it wash it this is even before you put it in the fridge and let it soak and you want to let it soak for 8 to 24 hours okay i've always done about a day i've always done about a day you can do it in eight though, okay? So you rinse it, rinse it, rinse it like crazy. Some people feel that you should boil the sea moss. Some people feel that you should, uh, you know, do all of that. I feel that it's it's fine. I've also watched Akeem Pierre's videos and he doesn't boil it or anything. He just washes it, what have you, get all the sediment off of it and then proceeds to soak it in the fridge for 24 hours then you're ready to make your sea moss, okay? So let me show you what the sea moss looks like before it's actually soaked. It looks like this. See how, how puny it is, kind of skinny? That's what it looks like before it's soaked. I got this right off of Amazon. The link will be in the description, okay? Dry sea moss can be stored in the fridge for up to 365 days or it can be stored at room temperature i just went ahead and put it in the fridge and i keep it there so that's what it is but yeah it just it just looks very thin and puny like this okay so what i usually do get into a gel okay and you'll see the consistency i've done other sea moss videos you'll see the consistency and whatnot <clears throat> okay Today I'm actually going to do more of a, a juice or liquid because I realize I can just put it directly into my, my toner, if anything. Um, I usually use the rose water as a toner, put in a, sometimes a little bit of aloe vera juice. I also put the aloe vera juice directly on my skin, but I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and put this liquid. So it is now ready to be put into the blender. And what I'm gonna do is just put it in there. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit more water. Boom. And then you blend it. Blend it up. And voila. This is the liquid, okay? Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my face wash. I may put some in my toner. I would just wanna take things to another level. So this is how you make the sea moss water or juice or liquid, okay? If you want it to be more of a gel or a paste, just don't add as much water. That's all you do is just not add as much water and you'll literally get a gel-like consistency that you see, like I said, in my other sea moss videos, okay? So now let's get on to the second part of this video, what I eat in I'm gonna a show you what I am eating today. You already know that when it comes to breakfast, my go-tos, for those of you who've been watching me, are oatmeal, eggs, or just egg, a scramble, and I'll add spinach, or sometimes onion, tomato, whatever, okay? 
And then I also have um, a, a smoothie on occasion. And sometimes I'll have waffles or straight up bread. And now I've been on that cinnamon bread. I had the just egg with some spinach. And then I had two slices of this cinnamon raisin bread. And some of y'all probably don't like raisins or whatever. I'm not a big raisin person, but I like raisins in things. I don't like raisins in cereal. That ain't me. Raisin bread and all that, nah. But this cinnamon raisin bread though, it tastes good. It really does taste good. That's what I have for breakfast. And to know me is to know that I love Thai food. I love Asian food. I love Japanese food. I love Chinese food, period. So yeah, today I'm going to be having Thai. Now, I already have eaten some of this. This is my leftovers, but that's what I'm going to be eating. I have fried rice here, and I just like to put sweet and sour sauce on it. Yums, yums. They give a lot of food. I forget the name of the place. Um, my friend put me onto this. Shout out to Ms. Vanity Rose. She put me onto this. I don't remember the name of the place, but it's good, okay? And then. I have curry, like I said, finished, finished the rice, but the white rice that came with it. But I've gone ahead and just been putting it on the fried rice. And when I say that tastes good on the fried rice, this curry is not a game. It really tastes good. And then I'm a soup person, a big soup person. And I had a good amount uh, last night, but even with that, I have a good amount left. Chicken Tum Yum. Delish. Listen to me. Delish. It's so good. Of course, I have my maca, either before or after my meal. And this is good for so many things, for those of you who know. I do feel that for me personally, it has contributed to my appetite. And the reason that I feel that it gives you a lot of energy when I'm energized, when I'm feeling good, I wanna eat. And I already have a healthy appetite. I feel that it helps with that. That is what I do. And this is Liquid Maca. Link is in the description as well. So that is all. Oh, and I changed my nails, y'all. Ombre gold and orange design. My nails, as you can see, they, this left hand be growing like crazy, okay? These nails are a little bit longer than these, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. I, like I said, these nail stickers are the truth. When you want to take them off, you literally just slowly take them off. This will last you about a week and a half, possibly even two. And then you just switch them out to another pair. But the reason that I say these are so bomb is because they're affordable. And in case you're wondering, the lippy that I'm wearing is my own and it is called For the Red. It is a lipstick. It is a, a, a mix of a matte and a cream lipstick. It has a bunch of great ingredients, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, shea butter, vitamin E, and it really does hydrate my lips. And I love that this color pops. And yeah, it, for reds, I love this as a red. And I'm, I'm more of a, if you haven't noticed, I'm a person that will wear like a nude situation, but I really do like this red. And I'm wearing my own Modestly Lavish eyeliner and mascara. My eyelashes are flourishing. I also have Modestly Lavish's big lash serum, eyelash serum. And I use that. So those are the products that are on my face, okay? So thank you so much for tuning in. I truly do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And even though I haven't been posting as much as before, I appreciate y'all for still commenting, still coming through, still just supporting me. Those of you who also support me on IG and whatnot, I truly, truly do appreciate it because I'm trying to just build in general. Right. So thanks so much for tuning in and I'll holla.